Uh, this is the first European computer driving license tutorial video. Uh, this will be a walking, talking mock, um, uh, one of the word processing exams from a previous year. This is the one where the first document was about badminton and the second document was about hill walking. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the exam step by step and show you how to meet each criteria. So the first one, open the word processing application and open the file called test31.doc from your candidate drive. So to do this, all you need to do is locate the files that you've been assigned and open the document. Okay, uh, so we're now on uh, number two. So save the document to your school network area using the file name agm.doc. So what I'm going to do is use save as... Uh, I'm going to use the same folder, you need to make sure that you're just in the root of your school network area and you are meant to call it agm. Uh, next one, number three, create a new paragraph of the text beginning this is a call and also one election of the treasurer. So what that means is simply uh, this is a call, you need to put a paragraph by pressing enter on the keyboard and also uh, the other part was election of the treasurer. Okay, so here just underneath the gender, like this. Uh, number four, I want you to centre align the text to, so to the members of the Keep Fit Badminton Association. So just this text, so you need to make sure that you're only centre aligning or aligning the thing that they specify. Uh, number five, font colour blue to the, to the title, so I'm going to choose this, and I'm going to choose blue from the menu. The next one, number six, so make it bold. So uh, I just did a keyboard shortcut there, Control and B to make something bold. Uh, font size for the entire document to 12 points. So it's currently 10 points, change it to 12 points. Uh, apply bullet points, bullets to the agenda items. So it's clear that these are kind of the lists. It wants you to make sure that you do it from um, election of the treasurer down. So don't include agenda, that would lose you pros probably half a mark. So I'm just going to put that bullet points. Um, where are we? Double line spacing to the agenda items from. So the same bit again. I'm going to select it to change the line spacing. I'm clicking here. I'm going to change it to double, which is 2.0. So enter the text. Uh, so I'm just going to copy and paste this text. Enter it in the header of the document. So insert header blank. And then I'm going to type in the text. Uh, print one copy of the document or... Okay, so simply to print, all you would need to do is uh, Control and P is the keyboard shortcut for this, uh, and then set it to print. Okay. Um, next one, where are we? Um, mail merge. So use the current version of AGM dot doc as a form letter and save. Okay, so I'm just going to save it. Um, use the file addresslist.doc from your candidate drive as the data source to be merged with the AGM doc form letter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to mailings, select recipients, use existing list, and now I'm going to navigate to um, the folder where the files are saved, which is here, and I'm going to load the address list and that's going to be the source for the merge. Uh, what I want you to do now is, instead of first name, last name, address, city, postcode, these should be mail merge fields. So where we've got uh, the person's first name, I'm just going to select it, and I'm going to say insert first name. I'm going to put a space, and then Jones, insert last name. This is going to be the address. So what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the bit, and then I'm, um, so city and postcode. I'm just selecting it and then kind of inserting the merge field in place of it. Uh, so merge the address list data source file with the letter to create the mail merge document. Save the mail merge document as merge D. So I'm going to copy and paste that, so uh, copy it so I remember it. And then to run the merge, all I need to do is click this one, finish and merge, and edit individual documents, press OK. And now we should see that you have a multi-page document with each address from the file given uh, on each uh, on per letter. Okay, so then to save it, what I need to do is again a save as, and this time I'm going to call it what they asked me to call it, so it was merge 
Um, merge d31 dot doc. Now I'm going to press save. Uh, so now um, I'm done with that one. So it wants me to open memorandum dot doc. Oops, accidentally closed the brief then, so I'm just going to open it again. So to open memorandum, I could do it like this, just double click the file. And what it wants me to do with this file is um, save it as template format as memo.doc. Okay, so to do this, what we need to do is go to file, save as, change the file type to a template file, dot dot, and just save it in the same folder. Now we're moving on to part B. Okay, so it doesn't require this file anymore, so you can close it. This next one, it requires you to open test32.doc. And what it wants you to do is um, save this one as hillwalking.doc. So I'm going to click enable editing and call it hillwalking. Um, so it wants you to zoom to 100% and select all of the text and change the font to Arial. So I'll change the font to Arial. So I just did another keyboard shortcut, so Control and A to select all. I'm now going to zoom down here to 100%. Uh, the next bit, six point line spacing above and below each paragraph. So to do this, you need to select everything. I'm going to right click and go to paragraph. And then I'm going to change the spacing before and the spacing after each one to six point. Okay. The next one, so underline the title and change it to uppercase. So I'm going to underline the title here. And then to change the case, I need to use this one here. And it wants me to change it to uppercase. So you won't get the mark if you delete the title and just rewrite it in capital letters. Uh, edit the text, sweating, beginning. So instead of sweating, it wants me to replace it for dehydration. So what I could do here is um, I could do it probably wants you to use find and replace here. So click replace up here, and instead of sweating, I want to call it dehydration. Now if I just press replace all, what it does is it finds where that um, word is in the document and replaces it. Uh, now it wants so there's a style called Ital Blue, and it wants you to apply it to the hill walking tips for summer. So this is this bit, and then to apply a, a different style I need to click this drop down here, it's quite hard to find, and then inside the document is something called Ital Blue. Okay. Um, the next one, create a table with two columns and four rows below the paragraph beginning, make sure that, so that's the last paragraph. So a column with two tables and two rows, like that, so insert table, and then what it wants you to do is insert this text. Um, so again I'm just going to copy and paste it so when it does this slash what it means is that's the separation between the two columns for each thing oops oops I made a mistake so it was meant to be four rows so to add more ta to, to add more rows to the table I can just go select the table insert rows below like that so it wants June whoops might actually be easier to type this out June, July, August, June, July, August, uh, 20, 25, 24, 20, 25, 24. So I need to make sure something now that my headings here are in Arial, okay, because it wanted the whole document to be Arial, but obviously uh, the Ital Blue is not using Arial, so that must be left as Times New Roman. Uh, let's have a look. So set the line width for all of the borders in the table to one point. So to edit the table properties, right click, go to table properties. Um, sorry, wrong one. Borders and shading. Uh, at the moment it's set to half a point, so I want to change it to one point. Press OK. That's changed all the borders. Center align all the text in column two. So take column two. Again, a keyboard shortcut, so control and E is to center align or you can just use the alignment menu up here. Um, so change the top and bottom and margins to three centimeters, so both top and bottom, so in page layout, margins, custom margins, and change the top and the bottom to three centimeters. Press OK. Uh, spell check program, so review, spelling, and just press change. 
uh, ignore their fragment error. So just the spellings. Press OK. Um, so and then the last one again, just print. So Control P, the shortcut, and just hit print, and then you're done. Okay. So that was a walking, talking mock of uh, the ECDL word processing mock exam.